welcome albert regis right yeah. okay first we're going to start off with where are you from and what position do you play uh, i'm from laporte texas southeast of houston and i play defensive tackle is that the only position you played throughout high school or i've seen you have other positions that you played right um well, coming out of eighth grade, I was straight into varsity and I was playing tight end from my freshman and sophomore year. Okay. And then once we got a new head coach, that switched over to defensive tackle, but I still played offense. Okay. I've played defensive tackle, defensive end, tight end, running back, one player quarterback, but I still count it because it's one play. <laughs> and I played a little bit of receiver, but it was more like tight end on the line type okay. thing. But I played a little bit of all over so can you throw a football yeah good? you can be a quarterback if they put you in no <laughs> no <laughs> that one play was okay a, that 20 one. yard long yeah that was it okay after that my shoulder was hurting that's as far as i can throw okay I hurt so how did you get put into varsity after eighth grade was it your coach saw your size and approached you or you went to the coach and approached um well i'd say he saw my size because obviously i was bigger than most kids mm -hmm. and yeah, he, he came up to me and was like, we need a tight end and we're thinking about putting you there. And he thought, and I don't know where about other places, but I know for us, the during the springtime, after like spring bowl and all, the coaches would come watch us practice. We'd do like pra practices with the coaches, yeah, but not actually practice. Like we're in our workout clothes doing like little practices with the coaches. Mm -hmm. And then they liked what they saw and they told me, you know, they were thinking about putting me at tight end for varsity. And they, they were like, do you want to, accept it and I was like give me some time to think about it you know it's a pretty big thing I thought about it and I was at first I was like I'm not gonna play freshman with my friends mm -hmm. I'm gonna play with my friends but then my mom was like but you want to play college ball this is the best opportunity for you so yeah. I went with it and I don't regret it okay so did you start when you went on varsity or which year did you start starting on the uh, team I started as soon as so obviously I had to work for it yeah but after eighth grade went into practices and after a few practices, I ended up starting, and I was starting since my first game of high school. Okay, okay, that's lit. The next question is, um, you know how some people come to A&M, they try out and stuff. The question is, did you get recruited, and how many offers did you have straight out of high school? Yes, I did get recruited by A&M. I had to reach out. Uh, my coach did at least, but I told him to, and I had a total of 17 offers. From what I can know, that's the most by my school, because that's what I was chasing. I was like want to get the most offers in my school so I had 17 in the end but officially I had six okay and the officials were a and UT Arkansas Ole Miss Texas Tech and Yale Beach okay uh, is there anything that A&M made stand out that made you choose it over the other colleges yes it was more so the coaching staff and outside of football I know I have a life yeah and the connection you can make here just by having an Aggie ring yeah like it's just the connection, the networking, mm -hmm. who you can be, yeah. and your life that goes beyond football. Okay. I love everything about that. So did you make official visits to all those schools already? COVID, COVID took that all away from me, so, so I didn't get the chance. Everything was on Zoom. Oh, all so the visits. I, okay. I kind of had to go up on gut and trust. Mainly, I trusted God through it all. That was my biggest thing, always putting God first. Okay. And I trusted God throughout all of it, and he, he knew that he would place me in the right spot, that I would feel it in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I knew that a and was the place for me. Okay. Um, so are you here on a full scholarship? Because I know some people yes, have yeah. half. So you're full, everything's paid for here? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So what college did you like growing up and what was your dream college? Because I know every high schooler has one. No, not yeah. every. I oh, you, oh, you never, never had a college that I liked, never had a dream one. Uh, I just always told myself, you're going to be playing Power 5 at a college don't know what college you don't have a favorite did you even watch college football or? i did all the time oh you did i did i just never had a favorite i just enjoyed watching football in general oh okay so okay. i never had a, a fan favorite only favorite team i had was houston Texans. that's yeah. my favorite team okay so i never had like a favorite college team until i completed here okay okay so next we're gonna ask what building do y'all practice in for football and how many training facilities do y'all have um the building well we have our own we have an indoor building and then the outside for the practice field. Mainly we're on the outside field for practice. One side offense, the other side defense. We're mainly outside, but if it's raining or something, or if it's thundering, then we go to the indoor. Um, if you know where Bright football complex is, yeah. yeah, the indoor and practice field is like right in front of Bright. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at. And we have one training facility, bunch of trainers, 
love them all to death. They're all the best. I say, like, they're all fun. They always keep a smile on their face regardless. And they're always ready to just have fun with us on practice, game day, no matter what. Okay. Always sharing jokes with them, just enjoying time with each other. Yeah. Okay. Next question is, uh, what is the practice schedule like for bringing a football player? Usually, it's pretty repetitive. It's the same thing every day. Not in a bad way, in a really good way, because I have fun doing what I do. Yeah. Three o'clock, we have meetings. So, three o'clock, meetings go on. And then, depends on what time meetings end. But say, just throwing times out there. Meeting, practice starts at 5.05. Mm -hmm. Or, no, excuse me, 5.30. So, we're out there for walkthroughs at 5.05. Okay. We get done with walkthroughs, all that stuff. And then, practice will go on. We get out around 7.00. So about 7.30, we get up between that time frame. Yeah. And then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, those are usually our longer practices. So mm -hmm. practice will start earlier. Yeah. And then we'll get out later, around like 7.30ish, around that time. But that's how pretty much the schedule goes. So do they work around football player schedules? Because I know some people might have afternoon schedules, or they plan it so like nobody has afternoon yeah, no, classes. They plan it beforehand. They're like, don't pick no classes that are like our academic advisors will say like, don't pick no classes that are like past two o'clock because okay. that will go into football. Yeah. Now sometimes they can work with us, we let our coaches know and the academic advisors will let our coaches know too. Like, hey, we have an exam to take and it's due by like, say like eight o'clock mm -hmm. and we got to practice seven something. You don't have time to go home yeah. and take the exam. So, you know, we'll ask that can we practice early to go take our exam. Now, sometimes there's some people who have labs and stuff around like a later time. So, you know, they'll, like they'll, they're flexible in understanding what does. And they won't be like, no, you can't leave practice. They'll be like, okay, thanks for letting me know. Go ahead and do business. Okay. So, it's, they're flexible with us. Okay. So, have you won any awards in high school playing football? Yes. My freshman year, I don't remember all, but my freshman year, I only got second team all district. Mm -hmm. Then my sophomore year, I got first team all district. And sophomore of the year in the district. Oh, sophomore of the year in the district. Yeah. And what district is that? Oh, uh, we were in six A. Oh, six A. Okay. I don't okay. remember what part, but it was like six A something. Okay. I don't remember. That's the year we yeah, had North Shore. Um, yeah. Everybody. Okay. It was, <laughs> but I won that junior year. I had MVP okay. for the team. Um. First team all district. What else did I have? All around. Okay. And something else. Just multiple, right? Yeah. Okay. That senior year was kind of the same. Thing. Yeah. Okay. But this minus. I oh, know I had MVP too, but just it was the way like MVP, and I had defensive player of the year yeah. for the team. All around stuff like that. Okay. So next question is, uh, what gear are y'all giving us football players of Texas A&M? Because I know everybody wants to know like what y'all get. We know y'all get a lot of stuff like shoes. Yeah, we get shoes, clothes, hats, backpacks, hoodies, shirts, everything. Everything. And y'all get the, your football gear has like what's that thing called? The pads for your knees and all yeah, that stuff. And knee all. pads. Yeah, they give us stuff like that when we have to practice and all. Okay. You know, we just keep it just on side, just in mm -hmm. case we always have. Issues. So, do y'all get it uh, after football camp? Because I know for basketball, they get their gear right after they finish football ca basketball uh, camp. It, yeah, it depends. Like usually, they we don't know when we get our gear. They oh. kind of just like you can go ask them for like, hey, can I get a shirt? Can I get this or that? But usually, they just like sometimes we'll be chilling, walk in the locker room, and then everything is like just in front of your locker. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I remember last time, they gave us a bag with shoes and clothes and all that stuff. And a whole backpack where it's just like, okay. It was just in front of your lockers, yeah, right? In front of everybody's locker. And your lockers, they have your picture, right? They your name. Pictures. Then our names, hometown, like position. Position. And then they also has uh, your year. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a where you came from. Like if you're from Texas, they yeah. have the, the state of Texas logo. Oh, so okay. Like, Florida, then they have the Florida. Logo. So it was like a TV, right? That's just on all the time? Yeah. Okay. It's like, like a team. Yeah, so like it's electric, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so how are away games like? When you go in a away game, what's like the schedule for that? Um, we have a lot of meetings. Now, I don't know what time, 
because it depends on what time the game is. But we usually have meetings, team meetings, special teams, uh, time to relax, uh, chapel, which is like our time for like God. Mm. Uh, we have a lot of things that go on. Uh, how's it uh, from campus? Like you leave Friday or you leave Thursday? No, he, yeah. So we have our Thursday practice and if it's an away game, and we leave that Thursday, he get, Jimbo will give us out a shower and all. And then we'll go to the bus, head to the plane, and then y'all go ever on buses, right? There's no plane trips ever. Uh, only for the away games. On the away games, we'll take a bus to go to the airport. Oh, you go and to the airport, airport, get on the planes, and then fly there. Okay, so are y'all like first class or is just normal class? Just normal. Like, is there a plane rented out for the football players, or y'all sit with other? No, it's just all football players. Okay, 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 okay. So when you do away games, do they give you guys like food in the planes? They yeah, feed y'all. Like, it's just like it's not like out of the ordinary. Because people say like, "Oh, football players get treated so well." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we do get treated well, but all sports get treated the same yeah. in my eyes. So it's not like oh, we're getting fed luxury food because we're not. Yeah, like it's just like going a normal plane flight to from Texas to New York. Yeah. Like same stuff you get there, same things you get mm -hmm. here. Like obviously we'll have like little goodie bag in front of us. Yeah. You know? Like we'll have a little bit more. Yeah. But we won't have like the luxury food that everyone thinks. Yeah. About. Everybody thinks. Like, everyone everybody. Thinks <laughs> like, like top class yeah. meals, but like we don't. Like yeah. remember last time I was on travel squad for away game. Like before we got on the plane, they gave us water burger, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like a full meal. It was just like. Burger, yeah, and then you got to drink on the plane. Okay, and it was like whatever drinks they have on the plane, like yeah. that Canada Dry, Coke, Sprite, yeah, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't nothing like I could go there. So, how do they choose travel squad for players? Is it just like whoever does the best, or they have like a, a list that they go by? No, that one I'm not 100% sure, so I don't want to answer that. Okay, put out the wrong information, so I don't know how it works. But so, have you been on travel squad for all games? Uh, some I have, some I've been on, some I haven't. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. I, I can't necessarily So, they let you know, numbers. right? They let yeah, people know before? they let you know okay. if you're on it or not. Okay. So, how many games have you played in this year? Um, last time I touched the field was Kent State. Okay. It was towards the end of the game, but even still, like... That was your first game here, right? Yeah, first game here. That, that was the last time I just played. And I wasn't upset. I'm not upset about it. Yeah. Because I enjoyed it. I learned mm -hmm. from it. And I enjoy it. Like, when we win... Yeah. We win as a team. Yeah. It's not, no, oh, he just won. No, it's we won. Yeah. So we celebrate together. Mm -hmm. And I just stick to the process, trusting God, knowing that soon I'll be out there playing as well. Yeah. I just have to keep trusting God and trusting myself. So you're a defensive tackle, right? Yeah. Is there a defensive tackle on the team that you look up to? or? Of course. Who is it? Jaden Beebe. Jaden, oh, PV, right? Yes. He start, he's a starter, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, remember, I think I've seen him at the last game. I look up to him big time. He's a senior? Or? Yes. Okay. Uh, What goes on in the locker room during halftime? Like, yeah, we just get in, get in the locker room, sit down, talk. No, people think Jimbo screams at y'all sometimes. If you're down, does he scream saying, what are y'all doing out there? Put uh, your minds in the game. People, well, they can assume what they want, <laughs> but... He doesn't scream. We sit down in our position group, relax, talk, talk about the game plan, what's going on, what changes we got to make. And then Jimbo gets us all together and then he talks to us. Like, obviously, he's going to be loud, but he's not screaming. He's just going to talk to us, mm -hmm. remind us that it's one play at a time. We still got two quarters left. We got to play a full game of football, not half a game. Mm -hmm. And then we just get back to playing. Okay. I guess everybody sees Jimbo on the field. Like last time, I remember Calzada made a mistake and we saw him angry. He was screaming, took off his glasses and everything. He was like, what are you doing? Everybody was watching him because the way he was screaming at Calzada. So everybody thinks Jimbo's a heated person. But if you look at every coach, <laughs> they all do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, they all do the same so thing. So it's not just Jimbo's a bad guy because he isn't. Like, yeah. Jimbo's a really great head coach. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Every head coach does the same thing. It's not just, oh, just Jimbo, though. Yeah. Every head coach is the same exact way. Okay. Some are just presumably a lot worse yeah. than others. Mm -hmm. And they'll so, take it to the further extremes. So do you have any rituals you do before a game? Just pray. That's all? Let's pray and then take the time to relax, listen to music, and then from there it's game time. Okay. Next question. Have you had any injuries from football throughout um, your years? Yeah. My 
my in high school, my junior year before season, during the summer, to sophomore year going to junior year, I tore forty percent of my patellas above my knees, mm -hmm. the tendons, and it's healed. Not all the way, but it kind of gives it, it just gives me tendonitis. But I work with it. And then previously, I just got back from a concussion a few weeks ago. How did that concussion happen? In practice. Oh, practice. Just went head to head. It wasn't purposely. Okay. It was accidentally. Okay. And then that's how it happened. Okay. Uh, if you could meet any football player, who would that be? Any football player. Any football player. Uh, any football player. I would have to say, I always wanted, yeah, I always wanted to meet DeAndre Hopkins. Is he, uh, does he play your position or? No, he's oh. a receiver in the NFL. Oh, like, okay. He's just one person I always looked up to. Oh, okay. I always wanted to meet DeAndre Hopkins. Like, I don't necessarily look up to other athletes. Yeah. I just look up to the way they play yeah. and like how they dedicate themselves. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to meet him. Okay. Um, so do you have any advice for high schoolers that are in football right now and ones that don't play football, but want to try out next year when they come here. Don't be afraid. Use the nerves as fuel. Don't be afraid because it's it's gonna seem like if I mess up, I'm not gonna get in, but don't be afraid. It's it's gonna be a new experience for you. And my most important thing I'm always saying, put God first, regardless of how it may be, because God knows what's best for us. Mm -hmm. He's gonna know what's best for you. Yeah. So keep God first, no matter what, pray, Give God the thanks and glory for the ups and downs. And just keep Him first. Mm -hmm. And then trust Him. Trust you. Believe in yourself. Believe in God. Have faith in what you can't see. And then once you step out there, don't let anybody tell you what you what you are and what you aren't. Mm -hmm. So don't let anybody say, oh, you can't do this. Because you can't. Mm -hmm. You just gotta, once you dedicate your mind to it and you know in your heart that you can do it, ain't nobody stopping you. Mm -hmm. Unless God says, stop and wait, nobody's gonna stop you. Yeah, because you'll be dedicated. Okay. Just look at all the other athletes who, who are the best at what they do, and then look at how much they dedicated themselves. Mm -hmm. And from there, just trust in you and trust in God. And from there, man, just have fun. That's yeah, the big thing. Have fun, because yeah. most people forget to have fun. Yeah, have fun in everything, because mm -hmm. that's key. Have fun in what you do. And I'm not saying prance around, laugh all the time. Like it's okay to laugh and all, mm -hmm. but have fun in what you do okay. and enjoy it because it could be there today and it be gone by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So just enjoy what you do. Yeah. But that's the advice I give to our high school and the kids that want to try out. Okay. So before we end this interview, I also have one thing to ask because I know people wonder like they think athletes, you know, y'all have your own special hall and dining center. Yeah. Um, so do y'all, what kind of food do y'all get there? People want to know, like, is it different food or like, I know y'all have some like better food they said. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say better food because I don't I don't go around campus. I don't know what's served around campus. Yeah. So, what do they um, serve y'all there? Like, like burgers and stuff. Yeah, burgers, steak, fish. Okay. There's a deli deli station. Breakfast like eggs, mm -hmm. bagels, stuff like that. Like fruits. Mm -hmm. They serve us a lot of stuff. And then during practice, I know I pass by y'all thing. They give y'all smoothies. So they have assist that's people. After, that's 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 it's different. not every practice. After every practice, like oh. every once in a while, sometimes we'll get like smoothie king after practice, or we'll get tiff treats or something. No, I mean like so y'all have people. There's people that are hired that have jobs to make smoothies for people in your weight weight facility right next to Slocum. I went in there one time and one girl told me she works, she makes smoothies for the football players. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They make it's like a it's like a Gatorade. Oh it's a Gatorade. It's like a Gatorade smoothie. Oh okay. It's some energy stuff. Okay. Something you can eat on after practice drink on after practice, just chill. Okay. It's nothing crazy. Okay. Okay, so that's all the questions I have for you today, Albert. Appreciate you, appreciate you being in the interview. Yes, sir. Do you have any socials you want people to follow you on or um, if they want to search you up? Follow me on Instagram at Albert underscore Regis 44. That's the same for TikTok. Last name, R-E-G-I-S. And TikTok and Instagram are the same. Follow me on Twitter. Just same thing, but take away the underscore. So my Twitter, Albert Regis 44. My TikTok and Instagram, Albert underscore Regis 44. And my Snapchat is the same thing. I follow everyone back. Uh, Instagram wise, sometimes. TikTok, you gotta be funny for me to follow <laughs> back. That's, I'm sorry, cause I like, I like having funny stuff on my For You page. Yeah. And Twitter, I, I'm, I follow, I don't follow everyone back, but I, I try my best. But just let me know and I'll send you love, but I'll appreciate it.
Appreciate you being in the interview. Yes, sir. Anytime. Yep.